Advantages and Downsides of Using Green Energy Sources What are the advantages and disadvantages of using green energy sources? Today, we are now aware of the impacts of international warming. It's not too late and we can still alter which is why numerous are pressing for green energy sources. The advantage of utilizing green energy sources is that it is tidy so it does not emit anything harmful into the air which has an influence on the environment. It is also renewable which implies we will never lack it unlike oil which is anticipated to dry up in a decade approximately. Green energy centers are pricey to develop. It needs less maintenance so you do not have to shell out a lot of money to run it. It can likewise bring economic advantages to certain areas even increase tourism. While these sound great, there are some who say that there are benefits to utilizing such innovation. While green energy sources can produce electricity, just how much it can generate is not constant. This is because we have no control of the weather conditions so if a particular location counts on solar power and there is a weather disturbance, it will not have the ability to convert sunlight into electrical power. Building these centers also requires a great deal of land so we may have to cut on farmland which is what lots of are worried about if more wind turbines are to be set up. Another downside is the fact that some of the green energy sources cannot be installed in specific areas of the planet. For instance, wave energy can just be made use of if the waves coming from the ocean reach a minimum of 16 feet. The usage geothermal energy can only be performed in geologically unsteady parts of the planet. But if you look at such arguments, places that cannot use one kind of green energy source can be alternative to another. They can be set up near the coast rather of putting these on land if wind turbines require more area. A research study shows that you can create more electricity while these remain in the ocean. While the weather condition is something we cannot manage, it is not daily that there is a weather disturbance so this too shall pass. The emergency situation generators will be triggered and utilize up the energy that was stored if solar energy is being used and the sun is covered. The point is that there are methods around the arguments put by specific individuals which discourage using green energy sources. Research study is continuous to attempt and harness other means to produce the power we need. An excellent example of this is called ocean thermal energy. Power is generated by harnessing the various temperature levels in the water. It is currently being utilized on a little scale both in Japan and Hawaii. In the United States, only 7% of green energy sources are utilized nationally. This was much greater 11 years earlier and if we don't need to fret about the cost of oil or perhaps reduce our reliance on it, we have to invest more in this clean energy. We can get it from green energy sources such as biomass, biodiesel, geothermal, solar, water and the wind. These are things we have all around us and all it takes is for someone to harness it rather of relying on standard non-renewable methods to produce energy. Another drawback is the fact that some of the green energy sources cannot be set up in certain areas of the world. Wave energy can just be utilized if the waves coming from the ocean reach at least 16 feet. The usage geothermal energy can only be done in geologically unsteady parts of the world. If you look at such arguments, places that cannot use one type of green energy source can be replaced for another. A really good example of this is called ocean thermal energy. If you liked this video, please click on the thumbs up icon. Please consider subscribing and smashing that bell button. Click on the link below for the number one resources used in making this video.